Yo, what's up, everybody? How is it going? Today we're playing some Dota 1x6, which is of course made by Xeno, and we're playing Terror Blade. This was an old random lobby, so everybody just picked a character, and uh, well, we got Terror Blade. Now, let me give you a warning. This game is gonna look a little rough at first. We're gonna have a bit of a tough start, but you know what? How are we gonna come back into it if we don't have a tough start? How are we gonna have an exciting game if we do well from the very beginning? So we'll see how that works out. I hope you guys enjoyed and let's get into the game. Okay, we are playing Terror Blade today. Let's get some Boots of Speed, let's get a Quelling Blade, let's get Conjure Image. I haven't quite decided what build we're doing yet. Let's maybe go through the thought process together. That might be interesting. So, we're going up against a bunch of heroes that each have powerful AoE magic abilities, right? Like there's a lot of powerful AoE magic here. Um, yeah, so that kind of makes me think that it's probably not the best idea to go for um, the W build, right? Because that's all about illusions, and I get the feeling illusions aren't going to be that useful here. They're not going to be that strong, because our opponents will just be able to kill them, right? They will just be able to take them down without much of a problem, and when that happens, we are in trouble, because we'll just be... Very, very inefficient in our fighting. Uh, our opponents have lots of evasion. So the E build is kind of out of the picture as well. I guess we're playing Q. Like, against the Void Spirit and Ember Spirit, I think E doesn't really work. Because with E, we just want to attack. And if the Void Spirit is going for his E path, then we can't really attack. Um, if the Ember Spirit is going for his uh, anything... Yeah, if the Ember Spirit is, is in the game, which he is, then it's going to be hard to attack him. <laughs> so that's not ideal either. Hmm. Our Q path is the most neutral, and it's going to be good against Lina specifically, but it's not going to be that strong against anybody else. However, Lina is a strong hero, just generally speaking. She's very powerful, and she's played by Straka, who I believe is fairly competent. Alright, Straka is not terrible at this game mode. So, if Lina survives and stays in the game and becomes powerful, we can abuse her with Reflection and get Laguna Blade. And I think that's probably gonna be our win condition. So I think, honestly, the Reflection build is the way to go here. I like the Reflection build quite a lot. I don't know about you guys, but I think the Reflection build is very, very powerful. And so, we'll just kind of have to wait and see. Reflection build depends a lot on like what heroes you're going up against. But we are, So we're going up against one good target for Reflection, which is the Lina. But that is good. There, if the victim of Reflection has a targeted ability, the illusion will cast it after two seconds. If there are several abilities, a random one is chosen. That is, again... That's exactly what we want. So I think the game is also guiding us towards Reflection. Um, that means we go for Radiance as our farming item. But uh, yeah, what this upgrade that we just got does for us is it just makes it so that we can use Laguna Blade on the Lena. Right? We can make her shoot her own Laguna Blade at people. <laughs> or at herself. Uh, which sounds great for us. Okay, uh, you heal for 30% of damage dealt to the Sunder target, that's fine too. And then we'll just tank up and play defensively, probably get a Dagon, I like Dagon a lot. And then we'll uh, figure things out from there. The only problem with going for Reflection that I see here is that unfortunately, other than Laguna Blade, there aren't really any good abilities that are worth reflecting. Or like kind of like using reflection to recast. But I think we'll just have to deal with that. That's just something we have to accept and uh, work with. Alright, take down all of this. Get more conjure image because it's the best farming tool. 10 damage for what it's worth. And uh, yeah, we'll pick this up here. And then we'll run over there. I've got my illusions. I'll pick them up here. Void Spirit isn't here, that's good. Let's run back. 
Okay, this hasn't been taken, so we can come in here probably. Lena doesn't seem to be moving in over here either. Uh, right now, I think our best, like, efficiency with farming is just going to be picking up these bounty runes. Right, we'll just grab them. They are all over the place, so we can easily just pick them up. And, uh, you know, just kind of, like, get ourselves quite a lot of money out of these. Sunder target loses 10% of pure of their health. As pure damage over 10 seconds. Okay, just checking here as well. We have a bit of time. So, coming in here. This goes down. Ooh, I'm surprised that that illusion survived that. That's very impressive, isn't it? Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, I, no, I did get it. I got it, I got it. So here's how it works. Plus two seconds reflection duration, the ability becomes undispellable. Reflect, reflection becomes an older cast ability. If the ability is not activated, it will save information about its target. If the ability is activated, it will summon illusions of a saved, um, of a saved target. So what this lets me do now is I can use it to summon illusions of heroes that I kind of like store inside of the ability. So now I need to find Lena. That's what I need to do. Lena should be level 6. Oh, she's not. Uh, I doubt it. I think she's level 6. I think we just don't have the information yet. Because if I'm level 6, Lena is level 6. Lena farms way faster than me. So I need to find the Lena. And then I need to use Reflection on her. And I'm not even going to go for a kill. I just want to use Reflection on her. Because now I can deactivate this. And uh, now the Lena is stored in here. Although it seems that it can also use Dragon Slave, which is a bit of a surprise because is that not ground targeted? I guess you can hero target it as well. But that's okay. We have a chance of hitting Laguna Blade and that by itself should be pretty good. All right, but like I can come in here and do this. And this will now, there you go, cast a spell on her. So it's just... I have Lena stored in there now. Now what's important is that this stored version of the hero does not scale automatically. I'm gonna need to refresh it as Lena becomes more powerful to make sure I always have the most recent version of the hero stored. Um, that's why it's weirdly really important for us that Lena doesn't die early. <laughs> We need her to do okay in this game. Oh. She might not have skilled Laguna Blade. Because you don't actually need Laguna Blade this early. Yeah. But the thing is like, sure we need Lina to survive and, you know, so we kind of want to make sure that the hero isn't getting absolutely destroyed. But at the same time, it's Alina. She'll be okay. <laughs> I'm not really worried about her. We'll do just fine. Because uh, Lena is just a very powerful hero. So. She'll be okay. Even without any help. I hope. Although I'm just running around picking up bounty runes. But uh, turns out... Running around picking up bounty runes is not a bad way of getting money. You just kind of do okay if you pick up a bunch of bounty runes. Because they are worth a lot of cash. So that's what I'm going to do. Even though I'm a bit low on HP. I can also use this now to summon illusions on the creeps, which is handy. Alright, so they can help me clear stuff. Let's go back. And we're close to a Radiance. As soon as we have Radiance, our farming is also going to be much, much, much faster. Although it's not that bad right now, to be honest. Like, we're doing okay. We're doing just fine. You know my acoustics situation? I'm making progress. I'm making a lot of progress. I'm actually very happy with it. I've uh, found a bunch of things that I was very much wanting, but I was not thinking I should buy because they were too expensive, like fancy ass, like uh, office quality room dividers with acoustic properties. Oh my god, 
Oh my god! Are you serious? Holy shit, they didn't give me a goddamn break there. That was wild. Oh, I didn't get the white orb there now. What's up? It's Surfer Bomby here, surfing into the video so you can cruise to that like button. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was crazy. I don't even feel bad about dying there. I have no idea how you're supposed to survive that. Well, we don't quite have anything fancy yet. That's okay, don't worry about it. This build is a bit slower until we get some stuff. Mostly we need to just farm up a bit and tank up. Ooh, that's that's bad, but I can... No, I'm dead. Yeah, hmm. Okay. Okay. But anyway, I've, I've made some good progress. I have found some acoustic panels, which I'm very happy with, that I'm gonna go pick up today. Uh, that... I'm gonna have to drive a little bit for, like, total trip time is probably gonna be like three hours, but I'm saving like 300 bucks, so that's pretty good, I'm down for that. And then uh, also I have found an office that was going out of business, that I, I talked about this before I believe, and I, I talked to them today, I was finally able to call them, and uh, as I was able to call them, I... Uh, it's looking like I'll be able to get some like nice high quality room dividers for uh, very cheap. 50 bucks a pop. New that would be like 250, 300 easily. Alright, so I'm very excited about that. Alright, grab this. Um, I will get some damage against creeps. We don't really care about agility and I don't really care about really anything else. Like I just need to... I just need to survive. I just need to survive. So, on that note, there is a Void Spirit there. Yeah. I wonder if we can copy anything Void Spirit does. Like, does Void Spirit have an ability that we can use? Probably not. Hmm. It's kind of interesting, but oh well. Okay. Yeah, there's a Void. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, level this up. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the Lena. This Lena that I've currently got saved almost certainly did not have Laguna Blade skill. I mean, at this point, she should have used it at least once. Right? Like, I don't believe. I don't believe that she had Laguna Blade skill at all. Okay. Ooh, I ran into that. Sunder. And now we beat him up, and then we run away. <laughs> okay, I have now stored the Void Spirit. I don't know if he's stronger, but uh, I guess that's just what we're gonna do. Alright, we'll get ourselves Guardian Grease. Uh, Guardian Grease are a really good defensive tool. I know you don't see Guardian Grease that often, I think, but... Uh, yeah, they're actually quite good. No, White Spirit doesn't have an ability that we can copy, unfortunately. I don't think so. I don't think he's got anything that we can use. But he is much stronger, so that's helpful. We'll get Magic Resistance. And then with each attack, Reflections, Illusions will heal you. And because we're behind, we got some bonuses. Hey, that's actually fine with me. Honestly, if I could just get those yeah, bonuses from playing from the last place, I think we'll be perfectly happy. Although, I would like to get this Lena again. She is much stronger now. If I can just snatch up the Lena. I mean, she gotta be around here somewhere, right? We know that. We know that she's here. Because she's gonna be coming for this creep babe. <laughs> it's funny. I'm not even interested in fighting the hero. I'm not even interested in contesting the patrol. All I care about... Oh, she's dead. Okay, never mind. Oh no! I didn't have this right click! Oh no, I didn't spawn my dudes. 
Yeah, this ability is a little funky. And I think that means... No, I do still have the, the White Spirit. Okay, good. No, I didn't lose that, at least. That would have been a problem, but we're good in that regard. Okay, get this. Unlock here. Pick up some more stuff. There is the Lena. We found her. I just... Come on. Just let me... Alright, there she is. There she is. Okay, run, 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 run. <laughs> oh, can I maybe? No. That's unfortunate. But let's go back. We've got a Lena so a stored. And this Lena has Laguna Blade. So that is so much better. Yeah, you saw it immediately. She did a lot. This is uh, a Laguna Blade based Lena. Interesting. He has an epic. Reflection gains bonuses based on the primary attribute. Intelligence silences the target. Strength attacks uh, have a chance to bash. And agility gives me movement speed. So the int is the best because it's a silence and silences are good. And that's good for us because Lena is int. So that works out nicely. Okay. Pick up a bounty rune. Here we go. Minus two seconds reflection cooldown. We do need that as well. Uh, there's still a bunch of upgrades that we need for sure, for sure. And uh, now we are actually, I think, reasonably strong. Nope. There she is. Okay, I saw that coming. And here have this. There's one cast. Oh no. Ah, oh, that sucks. I should have used my makeup. I I was aiming to use my um my Sunder. But just barely out of cast range. That sure looked like we were gonna be able to connect with it. It's fine. It's all an elaborate strategy. Listen, listen, listen. It's gonna be okay. You know why? Because we're just gonna get another free epic from being in last place. Gonna catch back up. Not an issue. And then we'll just get ourselves the Guardian Grease. We'll build extra cast range. And we'll be in fantastic, fantastic shape. Uh, I know this may come as a surprise. But I actually have a lot of faith in this build. And like, yeah, we're struggling a little bit right now. But even in this position, I think... We can do this. I think we'll be okay. Here we go. Perfect. I will get extra damage against creeps. Get the weird upgrade orb. Cooldown reduced. And with each attack, reflection, reflection illusion reduces target's armor by 2 and movement speed by 5%. Here's our guardian grace. And next up, I will just get an ether lens. And that's entirely for cast range. Cast range is really important with this build because we need to cast reflection. But we also need to cast um but we also need to cast Sunder. And Sunder doesn't really have that much range. So uh yeah it matters. It does matter. Um uh, wait is there anything here? No. I'm guessing that the Lena has a ward up on my hill. That's okay. Alright, let's take down you. And then uh, get ourselves the Sunder upgrade. In case you're wondering why I'm not being more aggressive with farming with the Illusions. It's because Illusions aren't so good at farming in this. Oh no. What? That was through Guardian Greaves. <laughs> Well, we got annihilated. That was through Guardian Grease. That's crazy. In case you don't know, Guardian Grease heal um, automatically. Like, they just, like, trigger by themselves. I don't have to use it. So, I got, I got healed by this. And then I just disappeared. Alright, well, we do need extra health. We're still low on health. All right, run away a little bit. It's gonna be fine. 
Take you down. Oh no. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. Extra health. Thank you. It's actually kind of sad we haven't gotten more of that because, uh, you know, we really need health. <laughs> really need health. But yeah, we just kind of vanished to that freaking uh, Ember Spirit. I'm guessing that's a Slide of Fist build, yeah. Now, Slide of Fist builds are good at that. They can just kind of make you disappear. But that's okay. Oh. Ooh, that's bad. I would have liked... Uh-huh. Okay, okay, okay. No. Really? Man. I can't take any hits. <laughs> oh, I can't take any hits. Oh, no. You know, I get pretty close to killing things, actually. Right? Like, it's really not that... It's fine. This is all strategy. Just trust me. Because by doing this, Lena becomes more powerful. And if Lena is more powerful, I am more powerful. Okay, good, good, good. We've got a higher level, Lena. <laughs> Your tower under that's good, that's good. That's, that's what I wanted, that's what I came for. Uh, creeps are a bit of a problem still, but that's okay. So, here's our Ethelons. And now, I just need HP. Right? We just need to be able to take a hit. So, I think, honestly, we just get a heart. Right? Like, let's not overthink this. But we do have... Look at that Lina. Look at how much damage she does. Like, that summon is scary. You know what else is scary? That I don't have it ready. Okay, there it is. Sunder. Good. Bloodstone. There it is. There. Oh, what? You dodged it. Fuck. I'm dead. No, that's it. I can't believe that you got that dodge somehow. That's crazy. No. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's unfortunate. I thought that would still hit, but I guess there's like a brief moment of invulnerability or something. So Ember Spirit should be coming in here now, right? No, there's not enough time. But I also... Pff, this legendary shard. No, that legendary already got triggered. That was just a dodge with the ultimate. Okay. So here's our problem now. Our damage against creeps is just not really keeping up. Alright, get it? No, fuck. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. But that's... There you go. Alright. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just need some HP. That's it. Look. How else are you gonna make a big comeback happen if you aren't playing from behind? <laughs> We'll get every tiny bit of HP we can. Oh, for sure. Oh, you better believe. Every tiny bit. Let's go down there. Snap fire on Lena. I'm hoping they'll fight each other. And then I can show up and uh, maybe... Uh... Oh, no. Snap fire is all the way up there. Okay. Well... Lena is running here. Oh, she's going for the base. 
No, I missed. Fuck. Okay. Smoke up again. Oh, no. Ah. Yes, yes! Got him. Did I? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Two upgrades. Hell yeah. We're fine. And I got a new Lena. <laughs> Whoo, that vitality booster. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's exactly what we needed. Almost have our heart now. Right, that just gave us a huge boost. So I just gonna, I gotta finish up the heart. I gotta finish up the Octarine core. And then, feeling pretty good, honestly. Here's this, thank you. Thanks for giving me even more free stuff. Cooldown reduction. Here's our heart. And now, we're pretty strong. <laughs> like genuinely, I feel okay. I feel like we can handle this. Should only make reflection hit all targets instead of just two. I'm guessing that that is the way it is, because otherwise you could like very easily crash the game. And that might be a problem, right? Mm-hmm. All right, here's Alina for you. Yeah, I mean, so far this is going okay. There's a situation over there now. Okay. Yeah, it did some good damage. Ooh, you life steal a lot. Alright, here's another silence for you. We'll sunder you. No. Damn. Physical damage is a bit too much to handle. I can't just tank through that right now. I can't just tank through physical damage, unfortunately. <sighs> Yeah, Terrorblade was not a good random for this game. I mean, we didn't choose the hero, right? Like, I think everybody in the lobby randomed. But I honestly think Terrorblade is just really, really bad in this lobby. It's just not the hero that I would have picked if I had the choice. But uh, hey, that's just how it goes sometimes, right? No, you can, you can just think of it as first picking. Ooh, a disconnection. Okay. I don't think I can do anything about this guy TPing up. These are not mine. I gotta find one more kill. Uh, th that I so that I max this out. I mean, it's not that important, but it's helpful. I wonder if it's worth it to try and steal the Snapfire. I mean, she is a right-click build. Probably not. Alright, I need to focus a bit on farming as well. Because I actually have to finish up the um, Octarine core. You can tell that our cooldowns are incredibly important for us, right? Like, we need to make sure that our abilities are ready. But our abilities, unfortunately, have some cooldown. So, getting some cooldown reduction will go a very, very long way. All right, Sunder. Hello. Yeah, that's down. That's good. Oh, dear. I don't even know if we can kill these. They have a lot of healing, which is a problem for us. This is why I like Dagon with this build, because with Dagon you have just like a tad of extra burst. But that's okay. We can just kind of chip them down slowly. Might also not be too bad to try and get an updated Lena. If we can get our hands on it. But that's going to be difficult. 
All right. Get some magic resistance. And we're pretty close. We're pretty close. All right, snap doodle is down there. All right, I've gotten the snap fire now. I don't know if she's the best choice. But I know that she is strong. No, you're already gone. So, she should be at the very least okay. Did you dodge it? No. Yeah, she's got some stuns. Oh, she's way weaker than Lena, I think. Alright, there's another one of these. Just kind of... Kind of uh, getting some hits in. I need vision. Oh wow, you're missing a lot of hits. Okay. Void Spirit is here too now. Alright, there's two snap fires. Nice, that's one kill. And coming in here. It's not quite enough. I think Lena would be better. I mean, Snap Snapfire does a good amount of damage. It's not too bad. Oh, nice. Wow, that was a very well placed one. Okay, just attack. Yeah, you're healing, that's fine. Because I, I have a little bit of a trick, if you don't mind. Alright, there's a bash. And another one of these. And we got him. Let's go back. Nice! Let's go. <laughs> Very good. Alright, Snapfire. Kind of crushing it right now. Definitely can't complain about that. We managed to get two kills in a pretty short period. And no. Lena's lowest net worth? Oh no. <laughs> Don't do that to me, Lena. I need you to do better than that. Okay, what are we buying? So generally, as I said a million times, I like Dagon just as like an additional source of, you know, like damage basically we just don't do that much damage and having you can see how the fights work right like we poke and we poke and we poke and we just repeatedly repeatedly connect with these hits all right i have lena again ah and because we are repeatedly connecting with these hits we can uh, then also repeatedly cast Dagon because uh, we have long fights that we're doing. I think Snapfire is stronger. That's sad. That's kind of upsetting. That a Snapfire is better for us than Alina. I'm gonna need the. Oh no. Oh, she's getting knocked out. Oh dear. So, yeah, uh, weirdly, now my biggest problem is not that Delina is killing me, it's that Delina is getting killed by somebody else. Alright, I've got the Snapfire again, which I can use as a stun. And... I'm just kind of like trying to keep the Lena alive. Get her. Come on, you can do it, Lena. I can't get there. Can't help. You got it. Yeah, good job, Lena. Good job. Let me in. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, what do you want me to do? Not take the kill? 
<laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, what do you want me to do? I'm not just gonna let her live. Uh, she's dying to the creeps, probably. Yeah. I would guess so. Oh my god, we suck so much against creeps. I need the Dagon upgraded. Oh, I need the Dagon upgraded. Yeah, there she goes. Look, she wasn't gonna catch up. Like, this was a case of Delina either dies to the Snapfire or she dies to the creep babe. There was just never a chance of her coming back into this game because as soon as the Snapfire respawns, what, she, what do you think she's gonna do? Right? Like, what do you think the Snapfire is gonna do? She's gonna go kill the Lena. There's no living for her, I'm sorry. I know, I would have liked her to survive as well, but the odds just weren't in her favor. Okay. Okay, getting some hits in. Do I have a Dagon? Yeah, I do have a Dagon. Okay, I've got this guy. Just shoot him. Trigger that. Snapfire is triggering attacks. Here's another Snapfire for you. Oh no, don't deal damage to me. Oh no. Hello. If only, if only this was predictable. <laughs> Alright, uh, this this is bad news though. Ah, god damn it. Alright. Sun destroys your illusions without health swap, that's useless. While your illusions are above 80% health, they receive 60% less damage. This effect also works for you, reducing incoming damage by 20%. That's okay. 20% damage reduction is probably worth going for. Hmm, interesting. But it only works when I'm above 80% health. But like, I am above 80% health pretty frequently, I think. Alright, let's get this. Yeah, Siege Wave is coming up, which is bad, but oh well. I'm still bottom net worth, which is kind of sad. But I, I, it's not as much of a gap between me and the, the other players anymore. Right? I'm like only mildly behind them. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, this is gonna be such a struggle here, honestly. Well, we'll just have to do our best. Yeah, you know what? I like this damage reduction effect. I think it's already helpful. Because, you know, we've got a good amount of healing. These illusions do heal us, after all. Oh, we are fine. Totally fine. That's very impressive. Cool. Get ourselves some more status resistance. And we almost have the Dagon finished up. And then... Well, well, that's the question now, isn't it? I'm thinking like a Hex. Just something to like lock things down. But I also really need armor. Do I need armor? No, I don't need armor. I'm terrible at it. I was thinking I need armor because I haven't gotten an armor item yet. But then I forgot that I'm terrible at it for a moment there. And... uh yeah, we probably don't need armor. <laughs> We're well, probably okay. Alright, we're a little low on HP right now. I have a suggestion on how we could fix that. Mm-hmm, that's fine. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ooh, that's a base disabler. Interesting, but I think somebody's already in there. Yeah. Seems like uh, 
What's it called? A snap. Snap doodle invaded. Under metamorphosis effect, you regenerate 20 plus 1% health per second. So I've got a little bit. Got a little bit of healing now. So the question now is is anybody in here? No! Oh. Okay. Well, let's figure this out then. Right? Let's do it. Cool. I think that's it. I think I got him. Should be enough time. Very good. Very, very good. And we're second in net worth. Yes. What's this? A leveler? <laughs> nah, I don't need it. Appreciate the thought, but we don't need it. Alright, let's go back. Uh, Sunder cast range and Sunder roots the target. Yes, now Sunder has a lot of cast range. Sunder has a ton of cast range. Okay, uh, we have 4,000 gold. What do we get? Actually, a hard question, isn't it? Like, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what we want. Mm, we need something to just, like, deal with the right click, right? Like, that's just it. We, that's the problem. It's just right clicking us. Honestly, I still feel like Hex is probably the way to go. E-Blade is an option, but E-Blade is kind of bad because then our illusion doesn't attack anymore. Oh, second heart. You can't stack heart in this mode, otherwise, yeah. <laughs> but you just can't actually do that. Hmm. I just need to live. I don't know how I do that. Apex. I don't think I like Apex over Flicker. Flicker is a dispel. Is there another like dispel I could get? Yules? Yules might be the way to go. Yeah. Yules probably is it. Like if I'm not willing to give up my my flicker, then that means that probably I need another dispel. Also, I obviously have to pick up Seer Stone. I mean, like Seer Stone is great. It's a ton of extra damage. Ooh, Mirror Shield is interesting too, but mostly it's a lot of cast range. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alright, there's our snap doodle. I need to get a new one. I need to update her. Chad, when did you last update your snap doodle? Oh, you dodged it again. Okay. Alright, wait, do you see how you use Oh Full in Sky? Is Fallen Sky better than Seer Stone? Yeah, gotta be, right? It gotta be better. Definitely. How do we update our Snapdoodle? It's been a while. We gotta get uh, we gotta get a new version installed here. You know? Sunder target loses 20% of maximum health as pure damage over 5 seconds. Is that Ember? That's Ember. I mean, I could try out Ember Spirit. Maybe give that a bit of a test drive. Oh, I missed. Great. Oh, that's bad news. And kill him. Oh, Satanic. Got him. Nice. Get out of here. So uh, we have we we're trying a bit of a different uh, different system today, right? Like uh, maybe maybe giving a, a new model a spin here. I haven't seen this Ember Spirit in action, but who knows? Who knows? 
Maybe he's gonna be okay. We've got a siege wave coming up. I'm not gonna fuck around with it. We're not leaving the base right now. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not going outside. No, thank you. All right. Dagon. But you see how the Dagon is nice, right? Like, it's not the kind of thing where it just like instantly, we instantly get kills, we instantly burst things down. But it just like adds that slight little bit of constant damage. And that's really how we get him. That's how we do it, right? Like we just ever so slightly chip away at them. Good. Magic resistance, probably best. I don't think I need that much movement speed. Okay, Aghanim Scepter is probably what's coming up then. Aghanim Scepter consumed. And... Ooh... I mean, I'm guessing that the Snapfire gotta be the better choice, right? Than the Ember. Because the Ember's items, they're just not very stat-based. They're gonna be like crits and shit, lightnings. Okay, cool, perfect. Alright, fangs. Alright, we dodge that, and then... Oh, nice! Very fast, very fast. Yeah, the problem is that she's got a thing that makes it so she silences, and there's nothing you can really do about that. Yeah, we didn't copy. I know. I mean, I, I'm aware that I just got destroyed by her. I, I didn't really have a chance to do anything. She's very powerful. But uh, there's really not much we can do about that. I do ideally want this game to end before the second legendary. Because we don't really have a second legendary that works particularly well for us. I mean, I guess we could go for the W, which should keep us, like, should give us a little bit of a, a moment, an opportunity. All right, let's just fucking force it. All right, maybe we can't. It's not in range. Staying too far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep chipping. Just keep chipping. That's a kill. And I think I probably just have to go in. I'm a little low on HP. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of my problem. I don't actually have much healing if I'm not in combat. Oh, shit. Excuse you. Mm-hmm. I have a Snapfire now. This is probably fine. <laughs> I I think I'm okay sacrificing that building just to get myself the late game snapfire. Because like I needed that really like I needed that. I needed that snapfire, honestly. So this is probably okay. Alright. Spawn her again. Alright, gotta wait for this to run out. There's you. Ooh. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go for this. I mean, I don't think there's anything else I can do that gives me a similar power boost. Although this might take a minute.
but uh, hey, we'll we'll see. No, don't want to get hit by that. It's a lot of golems. This dude is healing way too much. Who said you could heal this much? And got him. Good. Taking lethal damage, you survive and continue to live in any in a, uh, in any nearby illusion, gaining sixty percent of its health. So that's kind of what we're going for now. I'll get the epic. I don't have enough time to do anything else. And no, no. These are all bad. Oh yeah, I don't like any of this. Okay, I guess I'll get this. The resurrection effect was worth considering, but probably not. Okay. She got BKB. Mm hmm. Okay, good. And I got her. Nice! Sit down, son. <laughs> okay, good, we cast, that's fine. As long as I get the cast out, we're happy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Never mind. Alright, one more, one more, one more. We can play that better. We can play that better. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. No. Ah! It's just too much disable. Yeah, she stunned me at the end. I wasn't able to cast Sunder. That's okay. Honestly, I feel pretty good about that. That was, um, yeah, that was not too bad. Uh, I mean, we were struggling so much and getting second. And honestly, that was a close, close final duel. That was winnable. I feel pretty good about it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I would definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.